Hey everyone, welcome to Getting Started with Informatica, authored by Raoul Mailwar, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Greg Arnold, and I'll be the voiceover artist for this course. Raoul has more than 10 years of experience in working with Informatica Power Center. He has around six years of teaching experience in Informatica Power Center, also Informatica Cloud, and other databases. He's the author of a book on Informatica called Learning Informatica Power Center 9.x which is also a packed publication. This course will consist of a complete overview of Informatica, including the administration console and information about using various client tools, such as Informatica Power Center Designer, Workflow Manager, Workflow Monitor, and Repository Manager. This video will provide you a glimpse of the entire course. Section 1. We'll talk about downloading Informatica Power Center from Oracle eDelivery.com. We'll also learn about extracting the downloaded software properly for installation purpose. Section 2. We will learn to install the server and client on our machine. In Section 3 and 4, we'll learn about various aspects of Administrator Console. This includes domain, node, repository, and integration service. We'll also learn to create user and assign roles and privileges to the user. Section 5. We'll be learning about Informatica Power Center Designer Client Tool. We'll also take a look at the interface of Designer. Also, we'll work on sources and targets as files and databases. Section 6. We'll talk about creating a basic mapping using source and targets. We'll also learn how to add transformations in mapping. Section number 7 includes learning on the second client tool, Workflow Manager. From there, we'll be creating workflow and session tasks. Next, we'll learn to execute the workflow. Also, we'll learn to set up the path and connection for source and target location. Section 9. We'll learn to work on another client screen called Workflow Monitor. We'll learn to check the status of workflow and tasks. We'll also learn to check the session and workflow log. This will also teach you to rectify any errors using the log files. Last section of the course will help you learn to migrate or deploy the components using copy-paste, drag-and-drop, and export-import drag features. By the end of this course, you'll have a good understanding of various aspects of Informatica Administrator Console You'll be able to create mappings and workflows with basic features, be able to read monitor and check the errors, and then rectify them. You'll also have an understanding of migration activities. If you're looking to make a career in data warehousing tools like Informatica, this course is for you. If you wish to switch from your current job to Informatica, these videos will help you. However, your device should have a minimum of 2 gigabytes of RAM in order for Informatica to install and work properly. You'll also need to have a database installed on your machine. No technical experience is required, although knowledge of SQL will definitely be helpful.